kill plants uh, all the <laughs> time. Like I had an orchid at home and I killed I killed it. So sales actually came to me with somebody who was interested in working with me called EasyPlant.com. <gasps> and I said to them, I kill every plant. There's no way I can work with this Easy Plant. And they said... These plants water themselves. And I said, what? what? I can't remember to water a plant to save my life. Even if I put it in my calendar. So they are sending me plants, this, this, you know, and seeing if I can keep these plants alive. Gandhi, have you heard of this company before? I order from them all the Do time. You they really? have automatic waterers yes. in there. So you just fill it up with like a certain amount of water. They have different pots that you can use. Yes. And the plant will water itself until, you know, you need to fill up that water again. So don't forget at least that part. Yes, you have wait, to wait, fill hold the on. reservoir. Again, whoa, 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 whoa. What is it called again? Easyplant.com. And you can get plants of every size, like small, medium, large. So I ordered these three big ones that I wanted for the living room with these different pots. They look so cool. I, huh. I, 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 I'm going to try to keep them alive. I'm so excited. You'll I, do it. I'm I going online. I'm going this. online now. Yeah. Maybe some of these parents listening can have some self-watering <laughs> kits. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see what happens. We'll see. I love that. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. You remember when Scary got to... Got the cactus and watered it every day. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I killed it. I killed the cactus. How do you kill something that doesn't need water? Because you, because you watered it every day. Drowned cactus, it. they need, they need water. Like it's like they're they're like snakes. They need like a a snakes only need a mouse like once per year. I mean, it's like what are you doing? <laughs> I misunderstood the instructions. I killed it. Oh, okay, Aww. you didn't understand the assignment. Uh, what's up there, Gandhi? Well, let's talk about a podcast again. I want to talk about my own. I usually talk about it on Wednesday, but since this is a short week, I completely forgot. So if you want to go check out Sauce on the Side, I had uh, an amazing dentist on this week who talked about all the ways that your teeth can kill you, but also answered the question, is it true or false that your dentist can tell if you've been doing a little lollipoppy, as Danielle yes. says? Yes. Oh, don't talk about this. Kids are listening. <laughs> no, kids, do not listen. It's just an answer, a yes or a no, and exactly how. If it's a yes... They can tell. Spoiler alert, they can totally tell. <laughs> really? So how can you talk yeah. about this without getting us uh, fired? Go. Um, okay. So when two people <laughs> for, love each for other. A <laughs> so if you're if you are involved in uh, you know, any type of pleasure using your mouth, um, there's a blood vessel at the top of your mouth that can rupture from the combination of like blunt force trauma kind of stuff yes. and uh -huh. and suction at the same time. Oh so there's God. really oh not a lot of ways that you can rupture that blood vessel. So if you go to the dentist and you've been doing that, that blood vessel is likely ruptured and they can look in your mouth and they can see it. And it lasts for about a week. So don't think that you're going to just be able to go the next day. Wow. It's about a week right. they can see what you've been up to. <laughs> so right. everybody's canceling their dentist appointments this morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And parents, get ready to turn it down. <laughs> Because, you know, guitar players get calluses on their fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the parents from back and forth. Oh, I'm, my goodness. I may have I a also, callus or two. Okay, if, go ahead. Oh, if you want to um, if you want to listen, you can obviously <laughs> follow me on Instagram at Baby Hot Sauce. Good luck finding it. I posted a link there. Maybe we can share it on the Elvis Duran page, too. I don't know. My social media life is dry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Gandhi. I love that. No, they can tell. They can tell if you. It's either doing like lollipoppy with mm -hmm. someone you love, or right? Don't know, <laughs> or if you like take. Uh, you were saying yesterday, like a uh, an ice pop. What right. were you saying? If you aggressively eat a popsicle, might be the only <laughs> other. <laughs> Who eats a popsicle that way? I don't know. I don't know. But I was trying to think of things that could cause the same damage. Oh my God. And I have a feeling whatever Scotty B does with that banana in the morning might also rupture that guilty. blood vessel. Guilty. All guilty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess it's time to wow. move on. Uh, let's get into the three thing into the three things we need to know. Wow. Our friend, Sh our friend Shelly Sunstein's on the way to talk about something really cool that's coming up, and we're going to have to support her on this. You know what I'm talking about. You'll mm -hmm. see when she gets here. All right, three things uh, from Gandhi. What's going on, Gandhi? All right, at the end of their second day of deliberations, the jury in the criminal case against former President Trump reached a verdict. The result of the nine and a half hours of deliberations over the last two days, verdicts came back as guilty on all 34 counts that were felonies that he's been charged with. Trump's attorney immediately argued for a motion of acquittal, which was denied. Trump's sentencing hearing will start at 10 a.m. Monday, July, or I'm sorry, at 10 a.m. on July 11th. His attorney went on to say that as soon as they can appeal, they will. Trump announced last night that he will hold a news conference in the atrium of Trump Tower today at 11 a.m. 
A major heat wave is headed for the western U.S. The National Weather Service is predicting an early summer heat wave that will start next from next week from northern Arizona to southern Washington with excessive heat forecasts for California's Central Valley and Nevada's Great Basin. Forecasters are warning that temperatures will rise 10 to 15 degrees above normal across the west Oof. and that the heat wave, I know, it's going to be hot. It's like pools out there are going to be hot. The heat wave could last until mid-June. Next week, Phoenix could see its first temperatures of the season above 110 degrees oh as far as gosh. actual heat goes. Yes. Oh. Well, know, well, kind of well, cool. well. They call it a dry heat. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oh, well, thank it's God. It's a heat. <laughs> and finally, the CDC is, in fact, confirming the third case of bird flu in a farm worker. It's the second human case in Michigan and the third in the U.S. since March. None of the three are associated with the others. The newest case is in a dairy farm worker who was exposed to infected cows. The farm worker had respiratory symptoms, unlike the other two cases, including a cough without fever and eye discomfort with watery discharge. So it can hop to humans, but they are saying it's pretty difficult for that to happen. And those are your three things. You know, it's New Music Friday. A lot of new music with Garrett and his sound on the way. Elvis Duran. Oh, here he is. And the morning.